So, last lesson we did first principles. Today we're pretty much throwing that out and we're doing formulas instead. Okay? Derivatives. What's a derivative? It's the rate of change. Yep. We're going to find the rate of change, the derivative of various polynomials. So let's start with the strange start. Let's start with the one at the bottom. We have a function that's equal to just a number. So y equals 2. How do we get a straight line at y equals 2, right? So what is the rate of change at every point on that line? All good. So if you look at two points on that line, the change, the rate of change, the rise over run, is zero at every single point along that line. So the derivative or the rate of change of any function that's just a number, so y equals 5, y equals 7, all of those, the derivative is zero. Okay? See there? F dash x equals zero. So that's a constant. Now let's go to a linear equation. Y equals x, or f of x equals x. This is where it gets a little trickier. It's no longer just a constant. We have a power. What's the power for x? 1. Okay? So if we have not a constant, we have an actual x in there somewhere, the general rule, it's the first one here, rule 1, you minus the power, and you take that power that it was out the front. So the derivative of this one, what's the, we're minusing 1 from the power, so it becomes x to the power of 0, and we're going to take that old power, the 1 out the front. So anything to the power of 0 is, so 1 times 1 is 1. I'll do another one. Ready? y equals x squared. y dash. So we're going to take away 1 from the power. x squared becomes x to the power of... So we've taken 1 away, and we bring the old power out the front. So we're bringing out what out the front? 2. Two. So y dash, or the derivative of this one, derivative of this one is 2x. So you're just minusing 1 from the power, bringing the old power out the front as a coefficient. I'll show you right now. Just before we move on, if there's a number already out the front of the function, so x squared already had, let's say, it had 3 out the front, you just multiply that 3 by the old power. So it would become 3 times the old power is 2. 6. Does that make sense? So that constant out the front, that coefficient, you just multiply by the power. You can have a second derivative, which is just a rate of change of the rate of change. Okay? So you're just doing the derivative twice of the function. So if it was x squared, you would just do 2x, and then you would just make that a 2. Okay? So the second derivative of x squared is just the number 2. This is rule 1. So the function is equal to x to the 4. So the rule is, if you have a function where x is to a power, the derivative of that function is taking away 1 from that power and bringing the old power out the front. So we just use that rule. y dash, what's 1 
away from the power for this one. X to the power of 3. And what's out the front? 4. Okay? So if you have a function that has two functions in it, or two terms, you're just taking the derivative of each of those terms. Okay, you're not somehow combining them together. You don't do that. So you just take the derivative of the first one plus the derivative of the second one. Terms derivative. Yep, so I've taken one away from the power and I've brought the two out the front. So it's 6x. Yep, so you take one away from the power. So currently x has got one. So you take one away from the power, it becomes x to the power of zero times five. Okay, and what's the derivative of ten? Zero. Very good. Okay, so that's your final answer. Yeah, because ten is a constant.